Here is the next example. In this example, he's asking us to find the resistance value between A B terminals. So for time being, I'm going to label the resistors R1, R2, R3, R4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So by inspection, by looking at the circuit, I can clearly see these two resistors are in series. Okay. Now uh, are there any resistors in parallel? These three kind of look like in parallel, but not sure 100%, right? Because it's look like this is a different node, different node, different node. But at the same time, this node and this node, is there any element between these two? No element, right? So I can say that's the same node. Same thing here, that's the same node. So if, if it, I mean, to make it easier, I'm going to redraw the circuit again. So here is four, that is eight, eight, okay. I'm going to make that as a single node. And again, they're dividing into three paths. Now we can clearly see this R6, R7, R8, they're in uh, parallel and R2, I'm going to label this as R9 because R9 equal to R3 plus R4, R9 and R5, okay? Now our goal is finding the equivalent resistance between AB terminals. So I can label R10 as these three are parallel. R10 is R6 parallel with R7 parallel with R8, okay? Now, uh, which is 15 parallel with 10 parallel with 6, okay? So 15 parallel with 10, you will end up with uh, 6 ohms. So 6 parallel with 6. So 15 times 10 divided by 15 plus 10, which is 150 divided by 25, you will end up with 6 ohms. 6 parallel with 6, 6 divided by 2, that's 3 ohm. Okay, so, um, all of this is equivalent to 3 ohm, okay? Now, if we look at here, okay, I'm going to label that as R11, R11 equal to 8 parallel with 8 parallel with 4, okay? We know that 8 parallel with 8 is nothing but 4 because 8 divided by 2, 4 parallel with 4, which is um, 2 ohm, okay? Now, again, I'm going to read the circuit. So here is 2 ohm. 2 ohm and 3 ohm. So what is RAB? Resistance between AB terminals. RAB equal to 2 plus 2 plus 3, which is 7 ohm. Here is the next example. Here he's asking about find resistance between AB terminal. Okay. So same thing here. You need to start walking from A, reach B, and find out which elements are in series, which elements are in parallel. So, I mean, by inspection, when I look at the circuit, um, it's hard for me to see are there any elements in series or parallel, okay? So current is going to start from there. It's going to divide I current, I is going to divide in two paths, okay? Again, current is going to come over there, come over there, and it is going to either split in this direction, in this direction, which I don't know which direction the current is going to flow in this wire. But one important thing, can I label this as C and the C terminal and this is also a C terminal or C prime? C prime and C, they both of them are connected together. So to minimize um, error or what I'm going to do, I'm going to redraw the circuit, start walking from A. So from A, I have two ohms. And then I reached um, D. So f at a D, I have two paths. One is going to 6 ohm, another one is going to 4 ohm. 6 is reaching C, 4 is reaching C prime, but the both of them are connected together. Okay, so here is C and C prime. Now again, at this point, I'm just extending it a little bit. Um, so that you can clearly see 
Oh, from C you have four ohms C prime another four ohms so four ohms and four ohms if and then the last one is three ohm okay that's my B always I always recommend you to put the numbers so that way you don't get confused so there are R6 so this is R4 and R5 okay I draw this extra line but in reality these two points are together okay those two points are together now I can clearly see six parallel with four which is looks like um, 2.4 ohm and four parallel with four which is two ohm so R total equal to two plus um, 2.4 plus 2 plus 3 okay so which is 789.4 ohm here is the next example um, here the question is he's asking about to find the total resistance what is RAB okay this circuit is called ladder circuit because it's look like a ladder okay so as I mentioned always start from the resistor which is far away from the source here I don't have a source but you can assume there is a source here okay between the open terminals so since we need to look we need to find the resistance between these two terminals I'm assuming there is a source now you can see I current is going to start from there and come back to B okay so as I mentioned always start from the resistor which is far away okay so this four ohms can you can you see that four ohms is in series with the six so that is 10 ohm I'm not drawing everything I'm going to draw only few elements here now I can see this 10 ohms parallel with 10 okay and series with 5 so 10 parallel with 10 equal to 5 ohm now I have 5 series with 5 which is 10 ohm now I'm going to redraw again or draw the complete circuit so I end up with uh, let me draw this that is 5 ohm that is 5 ohm okay this is 30 7.5 15 2.5 a b now as I mentioned these two are in series and that combination is parallel with the 30 ohms so 30 parallel with 10 which is um, 300 over 40 which is 7.5 ohm okay now I have 2.5 15 7.5 7.5 okay now these two are in series 7.5 series with 7.5 which is parallel with 15 so 15 parallel with 15 which is 7.5 okay now you have 2.5 and 7.5 what is the total resistance are totally equal to 2.5 plus 7.5 which is 10 ohm okay so whenever you see a ladder circuit it's really easy I finished it within one minute so whenever you see ladder circuit always start from the resistor which is far away and then minimize these branches of this ladder you will end up finding the resistance between AP terminals I will stop this video here uh, thank you and I'll solve more examples in the next video.